Oh, I'm, in, I'm at my wood spot. And you can actually see that with the leaves gone. Um, my first signal here with my uh, AT Pro. Didn't want to bring out the new detector because I just figure I haven't, it's been far and few between finds. My first find, like really shallow here, two inches. Looks like a, the top part of a, a lamp. Right, I'm not gonna look right now to see if I can get a date on this. That's cool. I was gonna pass by here. I wanna get deeper into the woods. That's my first find of the new year. Not bad, look at that. Not sure how old it is, but that's cool. Okay, let's see what else we can find. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, here is the lantern piece I found. It's definitely gotta be old, but unfortunately there was no writing on the on the turning disc. I don't know if it did it fairly well. I, I, let's face it, it was a, nice that I got this. A decent relic, the first, first uh, signal of 2017 which was yesterday for me. Okay, just wanted to show you that. Uh, here's something, uh, probably a 60-something rather jumping all over. I have no idea what it is. What the hell is that? No idea. Chunk of metal. Whatever, it was something. I can't make it out. All right, let's see what else we find. I just spent about 30 minutes digging down about 12 inches or more for nothing. <laughs> Knocks the hell out of you. All right, not on this one. It was over there somewhere. Okay, let's see if we can find something interesting. Like the first dig, the first signal was nice. Uh, it's chunky iron day. So this is what came out of that hole with that little flat piece. Yeah, it looks like it's definitely gotta be old, but what the heck is it? Look at that. Who knows? Don't know. Don't know. Like I said, I took that lantern piece out. All this stuff will wreck it. Anyway, this is all coming out of here with me. No idea what that is. Any ideas? Which I doubt. Not for any other reason. But leave me a comment. Okay. Right next to that weird pointy piece, which was right there, I got a 75, 78 solid, 10 inches down. So let's see what we got right here. Okay, get back to you. Well, I found it, I don't know what it is. If it's a, uh, whatchamacall, a uh, piece of a square nail or a piece of something, there was nothing else. It's definitely like brass or something. Look at that, a pointy, some kind of nail. It was a dandy nail or something. I don't know, it's broken. But it's kind of interesting because it's definitely old. Pointy, I think I should stay in this area here. All right, let's see what the else. The signal was jumping all over. I don't know if I got it all yet. <coughs> I don't know really what that is. If it's got something going on or it needs to be cleaned up. Look at it, it seems like some kind of... No idea. And they also had to take that uh, <coughs> lantern part. That lantern part I had to take out of my uh, pouch because I don't want it to get wrecked because I got all these other heavy pieces in here. Like I found this thing. I don't, I don't know what the heck that is. Bicycle, fork, who knows. I doubt it. Anyway, uh, all right, so I'll see what that one flat piece was. On to the next. Well, what do you know? Keeves and dig a trolley. Look what we got here. Should I throw it? I don't know. It's definitely got to be oldie. Cool. Let's see if we got a little decoration on the end here. Looks like possibly a little. I'm happy to have a spoon. It's amazing what, as far as spoons have come in digging, that's it's a nice find getting a spoon. It's awful thin got to be old. All right, we're going to put that in the pouch. Definitely, look, that's a thin spoon, boy. It's definitely got something going on on the, on the end of it. Let's see if I can get a marking later on. Thin spoon. It's like a 53. 
Cool. On to the next. That's a thin one, boy. Nice. Here's a picture of the spoon. A little video of the spoon. And uh, I'm going to try to... There's some writing on here. Right there, you can see some lettering. It's just weird. It's like four letters, it looks like. It looks like GWRV to me. It's really hard to make out. But the spoon's definitely got to be old. There's a decor on the opposite side. But I really think it's an old spoon. Very light and dainty. It's Johnny! Yes, siree! It's my buddy Johnny. You know, my friends, Christmas is the time for gift giving. Well, I just wanted to do a shout out to Johnny from Guess It Was Fate Metal Detecting. Uh, Johnny does a great job. I mean, when you think about it, nobody, nobody else really has those type of graphics over the video, and it's re a really great job. And he's done so much for me. He's given me a shout out. He's given me some adv advice on. Uh, some accessories for a metal detector I picked up and uh, it's just nice to have somebody you know uh, give you some feedback you know look let's let's face it I love this whole thing with YouTube and you know getting keeping in touch with people and it's it's great that's all I can say Johnny congratulations buddy on 700 subscribers and whoever wins the coins great fantastic have a good day Let's not forget to mention that Johnny does have 118 silver coins found in the Happy Hunting Grounds and other places, of course, Johnny, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but Johnny, uh, again, the 700 subscribers, I didn't want to fail, fail to mention, like I said, the finds and the coins and the job you do in detecting, plus the graphics are, I know I'm repeating myself, but anyway, okay. Had to say it.